In this video, we will learn how to scale a image, an image. So let's say we have uh, an image which has got this much as its original size, uh, which is about 240 into 320 pixels. Now what we want to do is we want to, we can, what we can do is we can either increase its size or decrease its size. So we call it scaling. So how do we do that? First of all, you have to open an image and then you have to go to image menu bar. Um, so click on it and it will show you an option called scale image. Click on it and there you will be shown multiple options. So first we can see uh, is image size. So, uh, so width is 240 and uh, height is 320 so let's say we want to make it 500 so the size of height will be increased proportionally so it, by proportion we mean that if you will click on scale then the then the ratio between the height and width has maintained and in case we didn't want it to happen so um, something like this would happen so in this case we only increased the width but not the height but if we will keep the ratio same then if we are making width 500 then automatically the the height will the size of the height will also increase so the proportion has been maintained so how do we really ensure that the ratio uh, will maintain or not? We have this chain symbol. So if by default the chain is attached, so in case it, it's attached, it means that the ratio will be maintained. If you will click on it, then it will be unchanged, unchained, which means that the ratio won't be maintained. So let's say if we are changing it to 800, then the height won't be changed, height won't change at all. So you have to manually um, change it so let's say you are changing these values now click on scale so according to your specifications the image resolution will change or image size will change so this is how we uh, scale uh, by entering the measurements as well so let's say um, earlier the measurement unit was pixels now we want to change it to millimeters uh, and we want to make it 100 millimeters wide and automatically the calculations for uh, cal calculation for height will be done so it will be about 133 so now click on scale and we can see that the size has increased a bit so now we have uh, our width of the image as 100 about 100 um, and proportionally it will change so let's say if it is inch then it will be 3.931 now let's say if you want to make it 5 inch inches then just change it to 5 uh, accordingly height will also increase or change now click on scale so image size has increased a bit now let's say we want to uh, scale the image uh, in percentage so let's say Currently it's 100%, now we want to reduce it to quarter, so let us, let's say 25%, so change it to 25 and click on scale. So now the image size has increased, has decreased by 75%, so it, it's 25% of the original image. Now going back again, now let's say we want to increase the size or rather double the size of it, so we will make it 200%. Now click on scale. So if we we'll click on scale, then um, then the size will be increased hundred percent. So to, in total, it will be two hundred percent. So this is how it looks like. So scaling is really really easy in Jim. 
all you need to do is open an image, import an image in the layer. So basically what we are doing is we are um, scaling the image which is inside a layer. So we are actually scaling and layer. So yeah, so go to image and then click on scale image. And over here you are given different measurements of the image and accordingly uh, you can change the size of that particular image. Thank you for watching the tutorial.